Welcome back to the channel everybody and today we are doing another experiment and we've got this really big piece of meat and uh, it's the shoulder clod and we're gonna see how this compares to a brisket. You know if you've been watching my channel you know I like doing experiments and I've been wanting to do this for a long time but finally the weather is nicer because this is gonna be a really long day for me. I'm still excited though and uh, this piece is actually 10 kilos, which is like 22 pounds. From the way it looks, I'm gonna just open it up and then not even trim it. It doesn't have that much fat on it. It looks pretty good the way it is. This side looks pretty good. Yeah, we're going to just do it and I'm going to cook it exactly the same way I do my brisket. So I want to have like a baseline, do it that way and see how this piece turns out. I haven't really done any homework. So I'm going to just do it like that and see how it comes out. So let's see how this goes everybody. It's a big piece. It actually, in a way, looks like the brisket, but it's not. I'm not even going to worry about these pieces that are hanging. I'm not going to worry about that. But the only thing we're going to do is use the same spice mix, the salt, pepper, garlic, and ancho chili. And let's get this rub on here. Nice and generous because this is a big piece of meat. No, it actually has a fairly decent layer of fat on it. It's not too thick. I'm gonna just leave it. There we go everybody. The smoker has been started already. It's up to temperature and let's get outside and throw this bad boy on there. You guys ready? So the smoker is just under 250, which is perfect. I'm gonna keep it between 225 and 250. Uh, so let's get this on. There you go. Look how big that is. That's so awesome. And I just put it on without trying to drop everything. There we go, everybody. It's in. It's on the hotter side because it is a big piece. And there we go. And the clock has started. Like I said, this is an experiment. I do not know how this is gonna turn out. I've never done it before. I really haven't watched any videos on this. I know other guys have done it, but I wanna see how this compares to a brisket. Cooking it like a brisket might work, might not. So typically I let my briskets run about three hours and then I'll come back and check and that's what we're, what we're gonna do. So in three hours, we're just gonna come take a peek and see where we're at. Welcome back everybody. We are at just over three hours and let's take the first look. Woo! That is looking fantastic. A long ways to go still. I'm not gonna take the temperature yet. I'm gonna let it go for a couple more hours. But uh, she's looking good. Welcome back everybody. We are just over five hours and we're gonna take a look and we're gonna take the temperature. Damn, that looks good. Whew. Okay, let's put on Fahrenheit. Let's try and find the coldest spot. Oh yeah, I got, look. We are at 126 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, everybody, this is a really long one. So I'm at eight hours right now. I just took the temperature. We're at like 160. Normally I would let it go a little warmer to wrap it, but it's been in there for eight hours. So I'm gonna wrap it right now and get it back on to finish off. Yeah, this is always the tricky part doing it outside because it's always windy when I wanna do this. You know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of towel on the bottom. It's beautiful. God damn. Literally, this is the biggest uh, piece of meat I've smoked so far. And I am super excited. 
I'm probably going a little heavy with the tallow, but that's okay. Let's put you under there. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to bore you with all the rest. Next time you see me, we're going to have this thing fully cooked to 201 to 205, fully rusted, and then we're going to cut into it and uh, see how this experiment went. I'm excited and a little nervous. Okay, everybody, we are done. That cook took 11 hours and like 20 minutes. That's the longest I think I've ever done anything. Now let's see if it was worth it. It's been resting. I've had it resting for like 45 minutes now. I'm just gonna get set up real quick and then we're gonna open it up and slice into this bad boy. I'm nervous and excited all at the same time and hungry because it smells so damn good. Cut into this. That was very tender and uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get slices, but let's uh, let's dive in. We know it's tender because it was falling apart. I don't know how well it's gonna slice, but let's just do it. And uh... <laughs> oh my, oh, we didn't get through the bark down there. Not bad, not bad. It is super tender. The thickest part, I got up to like 201, 202. The end piece here, I measured that it was more, what was it, 209? Just because it's uh, thinner. I don't think this is gonna slice very well. Let's just do this. Oh, oh, look at that. That's, <laughs> that's still really hot inside, but see that? Oh, look how far that, ooh, hot. Damn, that is tender. Tastes great. Let me try some of the bark here. Can't beat that smoky flavor. Mm. Got a nice smoke ring where it is. The middle part here, this is a leaner piece. So the, the middle part here is a little drier than I would like it. But for an experiment for the first time, but like I just wanna show you again, look how this just falls apart, wow. A little bit too far if you want to slice it. So I'm going to say right now that brisket is still king. Should I have taken it out sooner and not let it go as high? I don't know. Uh, this is the first time doing this. But I definitely want to try this again. But like I said, if you want to do pulled, pulled beef, this piece would be beautiful for that. Look at that, it just... I wouldn't use this piece necessarily to replace a brisket, to slice like a brisket, unless I did something wrong and if you guys can leave me some comments, maybe some ideas, maybe I took the temperature a little bit too high. Um, as a roast, if you were to do this as a roast, I think that would work out quite well. Uh, keep that internal medium, medium rare, I think it would Turn out that's another experiment to do, but overall I'm happy. Well, with like any experiment, you really don't know how the outcome is gonna be. I, I Like I said, I, I did my baseline. I cooked it like my normal brisket. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, for me though, I wouldn't use this piece to replace a brisket, that that I, I wouldn't do. Like I said, pulled beef, this would be perfect. You've got a whole big piece. Uh, it can stand up to the smoking great. 
Ugh, so tender. Look at that. It just even the even the dry part here. It's still super tender. Look at it just fall apart. Like it just tastes great. So I'm glad I did this. At least I know with doing these experiments for me, it just adds to my knowledge base on what I can and can't do with all these different cuts. So if I get thrown into a situation, I just draw from that. It's beautiful. Uh, looks great. The fat rendered down nicely on the on the top. Uh, yeah, looks good. Tastes good. That's the main thing. So brisket's still king, I think, for now. And uh, you can't touch it right now with not with this piece. Shoulder clawed. Nice big piece of meat. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat now. And then uh, see you soon, and happy eating everybody.